I don't go to anybody's house, but I will come for natural. My eczema is acting up. And <clears throat> I get something which is called pine tar. And it's a compound and they mix it up. And it smells like pine tar. If I knew how to make it, I definitely would. <clears throat> so that's why I'm here. Pine tar. And it's a compound and they mix it up. And it smells like pine tar. If I knew how to make it, I definitely would. <clears throat> so that's why I'm here. And they be trying not to give it to me. Talk about, oh, it's not covered. And I go through this all the time and I just fight, 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 fight. And they be like, oh, well, this is not covered. I bought my um, prescription label that was on the jar. I bought it in. I said, see, they make it for me all the time. Natural. All natural, honey. It's ways to get them to, you know what. They don't want to make it. All natural what? They want to give you prescriptions. They want to give you their drugs. But honey, watch me hit it. So the video that you just seen was me visiting a Med Express, <clears throat> you know, the little places that they have for you and your child to pop up in, you know, and get treated. And all of a sudden, they're telling me that this prescription right here cannot be feel that it is not covered so i called the that was four days ago so i called you know i gave him a little bit of time and i said let me call so i called the insurance company and i got a young person by the name of jamie and jamie said oh let me transfer you to someone that can assist you after i told her to, excuse me my whole story she said, let me transfer you to someone that can assist you. They'll be able to help you indefinitely. So I, don't, oh, I said, okay, thank you, Jamie. She transferred me over. I got a young lady by the name of Amber. And this is what Amber said. And you can hear me as I used to be a customer service representative. I used to be an insurance sales person. I used to work in sales. And I also used to work for... Um, uh, 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 HSBC giving approvals for homes and colleges and cars and things of that nature. So I know how to speak to one to get the information that I need. So you'll hear me sounding like I'm maybe incompetent. You'll hear me sounding like I am 100% absorbed of nothing more than just clueless. But that is not the case. I was able to get this young lady to say that it was political. I was able to get this young lady to say that it was governed by the government. I was able to get this young lady to tell me that it was political. So let's take a listen. We need to wake up and we need to ask questions. My kids be like, ma, ma, don't say nothing, ma, ma, ma. No. We're going to ask questions indirectly to get the direct answers. So let's take a listen. As Amber, that works for the healthcare system, high mark, in fact, Blue Cross Blue Shield, in fact, and a host of other insurances that she works for. She covers several insurance companies. Let's listen to her as she gives us the low low. The real, real on the low. Let's take a listen. And shout out to my grandson for videotaping this for me. <laughs> I love you, Bougie. <laughs> no, I really do. Big old boy. <laughs> so let's take a listen.
All right, thank you for holding. So I went to give, go get my um, my prior prescription. And the, the same doctor, Dr. Navarro, had been writing out my prescriptions for the longest. So you're saying that it's not approved because the government doesn't cover it anymore or... So how was I getting my prescriptions? That I don't know. Because I'm coming through um, this insurance to be paid. But I've been getting it for over 20, matter of fact, 30 years, even longer. Because I told you I'm 60 now. Right. So you said it's, com <laughs> you said it's considered homopathic. Like, I guess that's like from the earth, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Homeopathic. Homeopathic. An alternative approach to medicine based on the belief that natural substance prepared in a special way and used most often in very small amounts restore health. So basically, they don't want us to have this type of medical. They don't want us to have anything that will cure us. They do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's green, it's not approved because the government doesn't cover it anymore or it never did it was never FDA approved it's not approved because the government doesn't cover it anymore or it never did it was never FDA approved she said they never did. It was never FD approved. Federal Drug Administration. But as you can see, it was approved right here. This is my prescription label. Right here. I go to Trimen Salon right there. And the pine tar. So how was I getting my prescription? coming through she said that i don't know um this insurance to be paid but let me start it over oh, you're saying that it's not approved because the government doesn't cover it anymore, or? It never did. It was never FDA approved. So how was I getting my prescriptions? That I don't know. I'm coming through um, this insurance to be paid. But I've been getting it for over 20, matter of fact, 30 years, even longer. Because I told you I'm 60 now. Right. So, you said it's com. <laughs> you said it's considered homopathic. Like I guess that's like from the earth. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's green pastures or can be grown, the pine tar itself is not covered. Right. But the triamens the triamensalone cream is covered. Yes, it should be covered. Mm -hmm. So if I, so if I, so I, I guess I gotta dig. <laughs> I guess I got to dig up the pine tar from the ground <laughs> and then get. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how you know that works. Honestly, um. Oh my god. 
you know, as far as how the, as far as how they make it. And like I said, I'm not saying how we have paid anything on that at all. But I've been getting it for over. I told you I'm 60, so. 30 years plus. Matter of fact, I started getting it when I was 18 years old. That's how long I've been getting it. And I used to go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to get it at apothecary. If you remember what the apothecaries were, that's how long ago I've been getting it. And then, you know, when I moved over here, they started getting, and this place is the only place, Saveway is the only place that will do it. I don't know another place that do the compound. So, Basically, this sounds political, right? Well, not, I mean, yeah. I mean, I would, I mean, the only thing I know is to find out, you know, where you're getting it, how it's being paid, how they're actually processing that, because they're not sending it over to us. Okay. Um, and find out, you know, how how it's actually being paid for. Because I have no record. Well, where is it being sent to? Okay. So she said she had no record. I've been getting this, and I think from age 18, Jefferson Hospital at 19th Street in um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the heart of uh, Philadelphia in the center city area, the hospital where one of my children was born. I've been getting my prescription filled at apothecary there all the way up until 20, um, 25 years maybe. And then I found someone over here, which was the um, save way. So that's a lot of years to be getting something paid for. And today it costs um $62 for this size. This is a little more than two ounces. Maybe one, two, maybe three ounces. It costs $62 if I was to pay for it out of pocket. So I've run right here everything that was being said and then you know grandchildren they 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 are the best so why don't you just videotape it and i'm like i'm using my phone he's like here use mine they don't have any contracts for my medical insurance anymore so they told me to reach out to the insurance company you need a universal claim form universal child that mean all around the world i only heard of those when i went out of town and maybe my child got hurt or ill i would have to get a universal claim form for him for approval for surgery if he got sick while he was out of town or uh, 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 uh pads on his leg i need a universal claim form uh then submit to my insurance company or I have to pay $62, which confirmation, so I asked them, which confirmation do you need? And Jamie sent me to someone else. Oh, well, your confirmation will be the universal claim form. They gave me a number to call, um, which I got, they gave me a reference number, which means they're recording all their calls and tracking them. And people say, oh, they're doing it anyway. <laughs> Let's get with the program. It's a reason. Why would you? So um, I got Amber and she says that um, they will give you a partial approval for the fact that it had the trimethylone in it, which is man-made. So they'll approve the man-made. Y'all not listening. They'll approve the man-made, but because the pine tar is not man-made, it is of the Lord of the grounds of the good Lord. They won't approve it. So they told me, why don't you go back to your doctor, have your doctor look at your skin again and write another prescription of the same script 
just to see if it's going to be approved. And I was like, what? And they're saying it wasn't this. So my medication is not FDA approved. It's considered more homopathic. And I just gave you, showed you what homopathic mean. Um, and it's basically more of it's not something that the government regulates. See, if it's God made, the government no, they can't control it. Can't do nothing with God's green earth. Although they try. And so I said, so give me an example. And she said, Amber said, well, it's like a vitamin. The, the, the government doesn't cover vitamins because it's not something man made. And then she backtracked and said, well, it is. Vitamins are man-made, but not really. So, vitamins are not covered. So, let's continue listening. I'm coming through um, this insurance to be paid. But I've been getting it for over 20, matter of fact, 30 years, even longer. Because I told you I'm 60 now. Right. So... You said it's come. <laughs> you said it's considered homopathic. Like I guess that's like from the earth. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's green pastures or can be grown, the pine tar itself is not covered. Right. But the triamens the triamensalone cream is covered yes it should be covered mm -hmm. so if i so if i so i i guess i gotta dig <laughs> i guess i got to dig up the pine tar from the ground <laughs> and then get <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know how you know off works honestly um God. You know, as far as how they, as far as how they make it, and like I said, I'm not seeing how we have paid anything on that at all. But I've been or, getting it for over. I told you I'm 60, so 30 years plus. Matter of fact, I started getting it when I was 18 years old. That's how long I've been getting it. And I used to go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to get it at apothecary. If you remember what the apothecaries were, that's how long ago I've been getting it. And then, you know, when I moved over here, they started getting, and this place is the only place, Saveway is the only place that will do it. I don't know another place that do the compound. So basically, this is, it sounds political, right? Well, not, I mean, yeah, you know, I would, I mean, the only thing I know is to find out, you know, where you're getting it, how it's being paid, how they're actually processing that, because they're not sending it over to us. Okay. Um, and find out, you know, how how it's actually being paid for, because I have no record of it. Okay. So, wow. So, you said you have no record of it? Jeez. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and, mm. so... The government regulates what's paid, I guess, and what's not. Yeah, it has to be FDA approved. It has to be, you know, regulated. You know, all prescriptions that are paid have to be regulated through the federal drug administration. And what's okay? So that's what FDA stands for: Federal Drug yeah, Administration. Federal Drug Administration. Oh my God, I'm learning something new. All because I'm covered in my skin being irritated and red and mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm 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 trying to process this. Um I think you said your name was Jamie. Amber. Amber. I'm trying to process this, Amber, and to try to get it in my head, you said that it's basically like a vitamin. The FDA does not cover a vitamin mm -hmm. because it's not man-made. Wait. Because it's 
more likely because it is man-made. Because it's man-made. Wait, wait a minute. I'm confused. Wait a minute. So, so the the pine tar is not man-made, and that's why it's not covered. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm I'm just trying to get my brain to wrap around this, like has been getting covered all of this time, and now because it's not something that's man-made. Um, the FDA. So is this something new? Because I noticed you said 2017. And as I said, I've been getting it for since I was 18 and I'm just turned 60. <clears throat> so did they just start not covering the pine tar or what's going on? No, it's always um, not being covered from, you know, what I can tell because any other time, like even back in 2016, which is as far back as this record goes, um, we never actually approved this at all to cover. Wow. I'm, I really appreciate you ex explaining this to me. Um, but as I said, I'm sitting right here looking at my jar. <laughs> of my prescription that I had and uh, so how am I going to get it filled? Yeah, I, like I said, you're going to have to call where you get it filled, find out how it's being, how it has been made in the past. Um, Prior authorization, um, as you share with me, you said something about an authorization. Uh, but that ended in 2018. Um, and there's absolutely, you know, no claims whatsoever where we've ever paid for this. Wow. So, oh God, that is political. Liars. That sounds like a, a, not, not towards you, but it sounds like a cover up because I, I'm telling you, I wish I could FaceTime you right now. I'll show you. I'm holding up Save my, my way. with my prescription. Compound on. Pharmacy. Okay, for some reason, it stopped it, and it's telling me there's been a problem. All right, thank you for holding. So I want now to I'm trying to start my, it all um, over, but my prior hold on, y'all. The government regulates what's paid, I guess, and what's not. Yeah, it has to be FDA approved. It has to be you know you know all prescriptions that are paid have to be regulated through the federal drug administration. And what's okay? So that's what FDA stands for, Federal Drug yeah, Administration. Federal Drug Administration. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm learning something new, all because I'm covered in my skin. You know, being irritated and red, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm 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 trying to process this. Um, I think you said your name was Jamie. Amber. Amber. I'm sorry. I'm trying to process this, Amber, and to try to get it in my head, you said that it's basically like a vitamin. The FDA does not cover a vitamin mm -hmm. because it's not man-made. Wait. Because it's more likely because it is man-made. Because it's man-made. Wait, wait a minute. I'm confused. Wait a minute. So, so the, the, Pine tar is not man-made, and that's why it's not covered. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm 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 just trying to get my brain to wrap around this, like, has been getting covered all of this time, and now, because it's not something that's man-made, um, the FDA. So, is this something new? Because I noticed you said 2017, and as I said... I've been getting it for since I was 18 and I'm just turned 60. <clears throat> so did they just start not covering the pine tar or what's going on? No, it's always um, not being covered from, you know, what I can tell because any other time, like even back in 2016, which is as far back as this record goes, um, we've never actually approved this at all. 
to cover. Wow. I'm, I really appreciate you ex explaining this to me. Um, but as I said, I'm sitting right here looking at my jar <laughs> of my prescription that I had. And uh, so how am I going to get it filled? Yeah, I, like I said, you're going to have to call where you get it filled, find out how it's being, how it has been paid in the past. Um, Prior authorization, um, as you share with me, you said something about an authorization. But that ended in 2018. Um, and there's absolutely, you know, no claims whatsoever where we've ever paid for this. Wow. So, oh God, that is political because that sounds like a, a not, not towards you, but it sounds like a cover up because I, I'm telling you, I wish I could FaceTime you right now. I'll show you. I'm holding up my, my jar with my prescription on it. Right. Oh, I believe you. And it's all very confusing. Like, I, I, the only thing I can suggest is calling and finding out how it's been. Okay, so it cut it off. But anyway, now you see that the government is connected not only to our pharm pharmaceuticals, but it's also connected to our food as well. Food Drug Administration, FDA, Food Drug and administration federal drug administration is what i used to meant to say is all a political history of medicare your care and mine and prescription drugs period i didn't want this to be that long but they cut it off and i wanted you to hear the rest of what she was saying basically she was saying i hope you um, you know, fight this and, you know, if you've been getting it covered for all that time, I hope you fight this because um, she said she has noticed a dr dr dramatic, dramatic change in the way people are being cared for through the legislators and the government. That's what she said. Um, there was an act um, back in 2003 that dismissed a whole lot of opportunities for people to get certain things covered. And per me personally, if it's medication, uh, that man made, I don't want no parts of it. But um, I know that, uh, 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 what's his name? Little Pepe Le Pew. Uh, President George Bush signed a Medicare prescription drug um so-called improvement um act which was horrible for outpatient drugs and all of this stuff i remember that we need to just look stuff up but know that uh look into the kaiser family foundation um there's so many things that you can look up to see that these people are felonious, fake people. And they don't want you to survive off of God's green earth. No, they don't. They want you to take their drugs, be happy until you are no more. Who wants man-made drugs? I don't. Give me my pine tour. And my ex, me and my eczema will do just fine. I ain't finished. I'm not finished. You heard what I said, right? Let me let you hear it again. My eczema is acting up. And <clears throat> I get something which is called pine tor. And it's a compound and they mix it up. And it smells like pine tar. If I knew how to make it, I definitely would. <clears throat> so that's why I'm here. 
This is what I mean. And they just not do this all the time, and I just fight, 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 fight. And they were like, oh, well, this is not covered. I bought my um, prescription label that was on the jar. I bought it in. I said, see, they make it for me all the time. Natural, all natural, honey. There's ways to get them to, you know what? Like my, oh, it's not covered. And I go through this all the time, and I just fight, 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 fight. All natural, honey. There's ways to get them to, you know what? It's not covered. And I go through this all the time, and I just fight, 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 fight. Natural, all natural, honey. There's ways to get them to, you know what?